I'm going to do this video a little bit in reverse. So first thing on the clips, these clips just hold paper together and available from anywhere. And the cellophane top, I use that so it lets the sun in. And so the plants can push up and push out on the container because when we start plants, they're really big ones. We don't, we don't start little plants. Now the container is just a storage container you can get anywhere. And let me show you the plants. Then you can see that plant. That's really growing a lot of roots. You know, it just shows it's a nice container. Good environment for rare roots. Although the roots out here are a little small. And you can see the roots on that area, and that's a leaf. The roots on that are pretty good. And you can see how we take our cutting. Um, this is probably about six inches tall, and we kind of took the bottom leaves off, and then I put it in vermiculite. And I filled my container, container with vermiculite. And it provides a great medium to propagate hydrangeas. Yeah, let me get another one out. So that's a real nice one. You can see how good our plants do. And they are on the larger side. So it's not a little cutting. And these were taken in uh, late June, early July. That's, that's a really big cutting, really big plant. And there's another one with a lot of roots, plenty of roots. And this is about six weeks in the in the mixture. I'm probably going to take it about four weeks. From here, I'll take the cutting and I'll put it in potting soil. And I'm getting really good results from from doing that. Now you can see this is these are the ones that I did early on. You can see how how big they grow. And then, like this one here, this is maybe two to three times the size is, um, from the time it, it started roots and I put it in soil and it started growing. And I'll show you a plant that I put in regular soil and from the roots and it didn't do as well. And here's one that I put in the ground at the same time. And the plant, I mean, survived and it's growing, but you can see not nearly the success rate of putting in a in a potting soil in a potter. Now the the best time to do this propagate plants is probably in late June, early July. That's when you get your your biggest cutting and. It forms a really nice, nice plant. Even though I have here, you can see my my cuttings from earlier on this year are doing really good, and probably look way better than the ones we got now, considering they had time to grow. So anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and and that's how I start my hydrangea plants, and. With the plants, it's as simple as taking a cutting, ripping the, some leaves off of there, and putting the cutting in the vermiculite. And I've also had successful plants in. It's as simple as that. And that's that's how we get our cuttings in row. And we, we're very successful, almost 100% rate um, success rate on getting these things to propagate in our in our container and the environment we have them in. And you can see, we are a little bit in the sun here. I mean, you can see sun in the background. And my container sits in that late day sun and warms the container up and promotes the root growth. But you gotta be real careful when you don't want too much sun and, and in, you know, indirect sun is the best. 
And I'll put these three for fun until, until next year. Or maybe even the year after. Alright, I have several several plants potted up now in the potting in the potting soil. Now next year's flowers, hopefully. And expect a pink flower. Because there's nothing in that potting soil that's going to make that able to turn blue. That goes for the vermiculite too. There's nothing in there. It's not conducive to a blue flower. So if you want blue flowers with your plants in potting mix, you're going to have to order the potting mix um, and make it more acidic and um, to get those plants to put up a blue flower.